All right, so thank you very much again for tuning in. This is, this is Military Guna TV. I want to say, I want to thank you. I want to give a special shout out to all those who, those who consistently support, watch your channel, watch your content, and also the guys who come in the comment section. It doesn't matter what you say. I always reply to you guys. We're always fighting, but thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to speak about Mayim FC, and definitely three Jamaican players that play for Mayim FC. Jashon Anglin, um, Devon Speedy Williams, and also Lamar Walker. But definitely, we're going to go further into those details. Um, Miami FC defeated Lowdown United two goals to one, and we want to get a bit deeper in that. Not the game itself, but the players, the Jamaican rigor boys that we want to speak about. But please, guys, smash that like button, show me some appreciation, hit the like button, show me that you like the content, and for you to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. That is the only way the channel will grow. And if you do like this kind of content, Please just hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. If you don't, no problem. No problem at all. I am like that. But definitely, people, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, sit back, relax. We'll have a good, a good show for you guys. We're going to speak about these three players and what they have to offer. Now that we're seeing that these guys are starting to play consistent football, we've seen recently Kevin Lambert opening his first game with a, a cracker, a first goal in his first game, putting in a solid performance. But So we're going to go over now to... Speedy, he was a man, definitely one of those guys in the game that really, really stood out. So definitely the first the first player that we want to look into is actually Speedy because he played a total of 90 minutes. So he was actually the one more stand out than the rest of the, the, the lot. But definitely, um, but seriously now, let's look at, look at Speedy. He played a total of 90 minutes. He didn't have any goal, neither an assist, but he had 64 um, touches. Completed 30 out of 43 passes at a 70% pass completion. Two key passes attempt, attempted six long balls and completed three of those. He attempted two shots, one was blocked and one went off target and he made one dribble attempt in which was completed at 100% um, dribble completion. He encountered in three ground duels and he won all three. Five aerial duels and he won three of them. He was also fouled one time, but definitely one of the things that one of the key things I realized in this game, despite Speedy playing on the wing, on the right side of the wing, he did a lot of defensive work. I mean a lot. Let's get into that right now. He had eight clearances, three block shots, two interceptions. Um, he was actually literally playing like a defender or a central um, mid defensive midfielder. So he had eight clearances, three interceptions. Two block shots and made a total of one tackle mm, not, not a lot but anyways he was doing a lot of defensive work as you guys can see on the heat map bear in mind that the, 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 the attack was actually going in that way but you can see the arrow showing the direction that the attack was going and you can tell from there that actually they were literally sitting in their own half doing a lot of defensive work because because if their striker or their winger should be doing that amount of defensive coverage it means that they are under pressure but guess what they did deliver and this score goes when it sees fit and when it was necessary when it was right and that is what matters at the end of the day the result is key but definitely miami fc um defeating lowdown united two goals to one and speedy that was speedy's performance in accordance to a statistical aspect of the game now we're going to move over to the next player which is lamar walker so Lamar Walker came on at halftime on the 46 minutes to replace Da Silva as the lone striker. Yes, Lamar Walker played as the lone striker. Um, we know what to expect from him, but guess what? It wasn't the best game for him in these circumstances because, as I said before, the team was under a bit of pressure. Um, London was actually the, the definite. London was actually um, pe peppering them in some aspect of the game. But guess what? Um, Lamar Walker came on. We're going to go into the statistical aspect of the game. So Lamar Walker, as I said, people, another, a day, another Jamaican debut. Another Jamaican getting his, de his debut. Um, not the best performance. His stats weren't relatively best. But guess what? He got his debut. Got the opportunity to stretch his leg and get some first team football. But we're going to go into the stats and see how well he compromised with that op opportunity that he got. Played a total of 45 minutes, he had no, no goal, no assist as we all know. Um, definitely had 28 touches, completing 8 out of 12 passes um, at a 76% passing accuracy. So one key pass is attempted, one long ball, didn't complete it. Also, one attempt, uh, didn't attempt any crosses as well. 3 shots, 2 off target, um, 2 on target and 1 off target. He made a total of 3 dribbles attempt in which <laughs> none was completed. But anyways, at least he did attempt it as well. So he encountered in eight ground duels and he won zero. 
Um, he attempted five aerial duels and won two of them, which is also good. At them, which, which I can say that is good. Lost possession 14 times and 14 times. That's a lot. And committed three fouls. So he also made in the final stages of the game, he made um two uh, interceptions and one block shot. So that's it for Lamar Walker. That is statistical aspect of his performance that he performed that he that he gave to Miami FC when he came on on the 46 minutes now we're going to move over to the next debutant which is Jashan Anglin and I've already covered Jashan Anglin in a previous video um, it's a, and a statistical aspect of it you guys can go and check that the link you guys can go and check that in my videos um, that is it's right there people you can go over there and check that right now so definitely Joshua Anglin when he came on he only got like he came on in 80 minutes only got 10 minutes of football to play he had no goal no assist which is relatively obvious <laughs> basically but anyways um yeah he did came on and had two shots one off target one on target which is very very good for someone who just got 10 minutes of the game it means that he was very very active through the time period but one of the things that I realized that he came on for Martinez, he was playing in an attacking midfield position. I'm not sure if the coach ob observed Joshan Anglin and see that he has a level of technical ability to put him in that position because we all know that Joshan Anglin is, uh, is actually a central defensive midfielder. So we'll see how that one goes. Now let's move further into his defensive stats. So he attempted three, three long balls completed. One of those, as you guys know, is a very, very good pass of the ball very very technical play as well and caught him in one goal duel he didn't win any lost possession three times and also committed one foul he made a total of four clearances and also two block shots so as you guys see that's that's for Joshan Anglin people good performance for Joshan himself um solid solid game for the Miami FC let's see how for let's see how we can move further with these guys on the Miami FC team and I'll keep definitely and I will obviously keep a close watch on these three players because I do know that they are young and they have a lot of talent, they have a lot of potential I will see how we move going forward and definitely these guys are players that can be contentions for the Gold Cup team as well we have to look into that but we'll see how that one goes so people thank you very much we have looked at Jashan Anglin and Devon Speedy Williams and also Lamar Walker people so we have covered all three players playing at Miami FC Good game for Miami FC. We'll see how for, let's see how well they do this season with the new additions, the new debutants that just performed, putting in a good show, and we'll see how well they move on from here. So thank you very much, people. Please, people, drop it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Let me guys know if you believe that these players can get a shout out for the Gold Cup team. If so, I know a lot of you people are saying that the USL, um, the USL Championship should not be considered the players that are playing in the usl championship should not be considered but yes we have to be in mind that these players are playing but in the same sense you have people saying that our uh, players who are actually not at the club should be selected so guys tell me put it in the comment section tell me what you think about it, guys and i do believe that um everyone that is playing at this moment should get a shout it doesn't matter what once you're playing consistent football because I've seen so much cases, people are building a lot of cases for players that are not playing and don't want to build cases for players that are actually are actually playing football right now. So that's what I'm doing, people. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, Military Guna TV. And guess what? I am out, people. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new.